so we hear now that uh that since you've fled the country just from a little earthquake <laughs> the city country whatever okay. it's still a little earthquake uh, so now, yeah, we hear that the YouTube fans won't be hey, able to comment on yeah, your videos anymore. It was supposed to be a big earthquake, which was supposed to wipe out the West Coast. Okay, so uh, okay, I was fleeing for a reason. Uh huh. Well, uh, yeah. So you, what it is is really you're just scared of these little YouTube uh, comments, aren't you? Because you know, we know you can't sing. You know, we've so seen all those. Game. I'm not scared of anything. I told you oh, yeah. in the last video. Uh huh. Sure. Yeah. Well, let's hear a new song if you're not so scared. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Uh, 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 oh, well, I wrote one for American Idol, and actually, it would probably have been sung by the finalists, finalists, except for the fact that that's um, Miss Cara Guardia and her. Uh, other songwriter who remained nameless probably because he was too embarrassed that the song sucked so badly so they only stuck Kara's name on it I'm sorry Kara but that song really sucked really badly and I, I could see that you were really embarrassed as well so I'm really really sorry but I have to say that my song was 10 times better than your song I'm really sorry I love you to death though and you have done other songs which are like a zillion million times better <laughs> I'm really really sorry but American Idol you should have chosen my song and I will sing it for you and hopefully you won't uh, crash and burn my song which I wrote just for American Idol and of course you chose not to have the American Idol songwriters contest last year and therefore you never got to hear the amazing song for American Idol called I won't let you down which I wrote for the fans of American Idol and no one's ever written a song for the fans of American Idol except for me. So I will now present my song which is just for the fans of American Idol so I'm sure you, uh, the fans, will appreciate this and hopefully American Idol, maybe Kara because she probably hates me right now, but it's okay, you won't hate me after you hear the song, you'll probably want to collaborate. <laughs> It will be great, and you can just write to me on my screen name, which you can just see, see just above, right there. You can see my screen name, but it's okay. I won't toot my horn just yet. Um, <clears throat> after you hear the song, so here it goes for the fans of American Idol. The song is for you. It's called "I Won't Let You Down." Okay, so here it goes. <clears throat> just remember, I've been stranded in the desert, thinking there's going to be a big earthquake. So please keep that in mind. I always do this justify in case the song sucks. <laughs> I think the song's good. Okay, so here it goes. Okay, sorry, I'm just, you know. Anyway, shout out to Georgie, just sleep and talk. I know, I'm sorry, I did this all the time. Okay, here it goes. Okay. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> sorry. Okay, here it goes. Alright. <clears throat> I've got this memory back when I was three. How I used to sit on your knee. Oh, I hope I, I hope I made you proud. Daddy, I wish you were here right now. How I won't let you down. You're my sisters and brothers. I won't let you down. We're friends till the end of time. You've never let me down. Even in my darkest hours, here to give my love back to you. It was you who guided me through. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. just a stranger in a crowded place. Too many lonely hearts have I faced, and so I was too. Scared to take that big leap of faith But here I am I won't let you down You're my sisters and brothers I won't let you down We're friends till the end of time You've never let me down Even in my darkest hours here to give my love back to you It was you who guided me through Now it 
it's time to realize what makes you happy no matter imperfections hardships or despair it can make you or break you the game is never fair it's how you stand in the end I won't let you down you're my sisters and brothers I won't let you down we're friends till the end of time you've never let me down even in my darkest hours here to give my love back to you it was you who guided me through I won't let you down you're my sisters and brothers I won't let you down we're friends till the end of time you've never let me down even in my darkest hours here to give my love back to you it was you who guided me through here to give my love to you you made my dreams come true so just keep in mind I was not singing that song perfectly I know right here I've got Simon right here I have Paula I know it was just like Kara this year and like Ellen DeGeneres and but I still got Paula on my side and I have Simon over here and Simon would say that I sucked and I was like off pitch and I heard myself go off pitch but the song was not about being on pitch and being perfect and everything and I'm sure those YouTube haters out there who I have hater Georgie haters out there and that's fine I've accepted them in my life because that's fine because they are YouTube haters and that's no problem for me but the song was a song writers competition so let's make that clear song writing so I did that I wrote a song for American Idol and if anybody would like to buy the song they can please contact me and I'd be happy to sell them the lyrics so yes the song was written written this yeah, yeah I just want to make that clear I wrote the song for American Idol obviously I was not on American Idol and that's I'm um, sure so we can all hear why because you know I don't have a big powerful Kelly Clarkson uh, voice which is all good and I'm not trying to be Kelly Clarkson and I've made that clear from day one I am no Kelly Clarkson or any of these amazing singers that have come and they just their names have gone off my head. Carrie Underwood, amazing, another amazing singer. And Diana, Diana, just loved Diana. She should have won. Sorry, no offense to the other winners. But I love them all. Everybody that's come with American Idol, amazing. But I never claimed to be one of those American Idol superstars, but I did want to write an amazing song for American Idol and I think that the lyrics are very powerful and like I said I wrote the song for the American Idol fans and without American Idol fans as you've heard millions and millions and millions of people vote for a little uh, not little sorry not a little let me say a little scratch that X from the vocab from your memories but I wrote it for the American Idol fans because without the fans we would have no American Idol show and we would have no American Idols so it was for them so hopefully the lyrics you know, it touched your heart and the few places I went off pitch, I'm really sorry about that. <clears throat> Remember I was running from a, I almost a tornado, <laughs> we were in the wrong place, <laughs> wrong part of the country for that, but I was running from a proposed earthquake, so maybe just take that into consideration that I had some fear running through my bones and that, you know, threw me off pitch. But anyway, <laughs> sorry for the singing carrier. It was not to sing you, it was to sing the song. Didn't mean to diss the song. I just got excited that my American Idol song was finally being heard on YouTube. Yay, go YouTube. So anyway, hope you liked it. Catch you later. Bye.